Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and today my gift to you is this thanksgiving and soul clearing meditation to the animals that gave their life for us and if you follow along you most likely will clear a huge burden. So this video is designed not only to give thanks to our animal companions from this and past lives but to also release any stuck soul fragments, you know, trauma, curses, spells, bindings, ghost aspects, and other baggage from our animal companions, and set them free in case they were bound or stuck in any way. Whenever my mother and I saw a horse fall down or get hurt in a movie scene, we winced you know, out of compassion. Much, much more compassion than for the humans that got slaughtered <coughs> in your sorted war scene. So, uh, in my own case, I attribute these strong sentiments to past life, very intense memories, you know, where a horse or a dog, you know, sacrificed its life for me, you know. Of course, we all They have a special bond, you know, between horse and rider and, you know, over the long time, your life depended on each other or your dogs. So, there is still a lot to clear, <laughs> I guess. And, you know, where, where would we be, you know, without uh, these animal species, you know, as humanity that have supported us, you know, like goats and, and cows, you know, uh, and horses, you know, or chicken, I mean, for food, you know, as beasts of burdens, you know. Imagine having to carry everything everywhere, you know, for, for war and, you know, transportation. So, animals, you know, sacrifice their bodies and their freedom to us, you know, as life companions, protectors, you know, for food, you know, some were kept for beauty, you know, in cages, like birds, and, you know, and many other roles. So, unfortunately, you know, besides cruel treatment, most of the time, they did not get the respect or acknowledgement or honor for their sacrifice, but were treated as things, you know, just things. And, of course, you know, there was slavery too, I mean, you know, the people weren't that compassionate, it seems. And so we may look down, you know, to them and great animals, you know, by their intelligence, but then, you know, this and think, you know, we can get away with it, you know, mistreating them and slaughtering and eating them, you know. But by this logic, you know, uh, this would give more intelligent beings than us the right to treat us like animals. And, I mean, you know, if you know about the abductions and other ghastly things, um, you know, this seems to be actually happening. <coughs> so... Um, you know, we keep uh, animals in concentration camps nowadays, you know, huge chicken farms, and huge turkey farms, you know. Um, you know, Chicago feed, feed lots, you know, very unnatural, you know, and it's very different um, than just having a happy farm life, right, as a chicken on a, scratching around on a farmyard. You know, um, of course, everybody has to die, so that would be rather more balanced than having concentration camp, you know, frank and chickens, right? And just to give you an example, you know, uh, how this affects us or the animals. Um, my wan, my wife, you know, she makes wands like something like this. And um, so once she gave me, you know, a wand to bless, you know, it, it had a... Uh, she doesn't do this all the time, you know, just sometimes. 
And I, so I touched the wand and it kind of hurt in my hand. So I investigated and there was, um, you know, fox fur, you know, on there that was legally bought through a wholesaler. And um, so it, it was, you know, coming from this fox. So I meditated and I uh, saw this fox being trapped, you know, in a, in a trap, in an animal trap, you know, with his paw. And, you know, it hurt very, very much. You know, he was very afraid, also very angry. And it took him a long time to die. And so all this pain was still, you know, with the fur. You know, somehow for sensitive people, we are connected, you know, through a holographic universe, you could say. You know, in dowsing, you know, a piece of fur or a piece of blood is a sample, you know, which connects you to the object of your inquiry, you know, and so this was a sample of this fox's energy. So this fox was stuck in the astral realm and, you know, I apologized to him for humanity for treating him that bad. And I called him for help and, you know, helped him go into the higher realms, you know, uh, to meet with his higher self. And uh, so the fur cleared, you know, it was feeling good again. So um, they suffer and we are coming up, you know, we feel their suffering sooner or later, right? Um, another example, you know, I just recently regressed a human being <laughs> to a past life, you know, where from the high cell level, you know, she wanted to incarnate as a companion dog. And, you know, we generally we just visit past lifetimes because the high self suggested, you know, there is trauma there that needs clearing. So then we pop into some of those lifetimes. Uh, I'm not looking for lifetimes like that, right? So she was, sh she wanted to incarnate as a companion dog and landed up in Vietnam as a war dog. Um, one of those pointer setters, that they're very sensitive dogs actually, you know, dying confused and heavily traumatized in the crossfire. Right? So it's a long story, you know, there's more to it. But my point here is that, uh, you know, a high self, you know, uh, people think, you know, oh, there are human high self, there are animal high selves. <laughs> Maybe some high cells, you know, only did animals. Let me put it like this. But you know, uh, you know, I think a high self is just way higher than human form. High self can incarnate in all kinds of bodies, right? The soul is connected all the way to source. So, you know, so a so-called human high self, you know, could incarnate, you know, in an animal body and. Um, with many clients, uh, when I go into like the far out past lifetimes, you know, there are um, some find themselves in a dinosaur hunting. Some find themselves in kind of a primitive caveman, you know, bodies. Uh, very interesting. So, uh, to make my point, you know, so your high self is not necessarily superior to an animal high self, right? Ultimately, we are all descendants of the Supreme Creator, you know, of all, you know, God, you know, we are all children of God. So, and so are the animals. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, you know, so an animal high self is probably as smart or evolved or part, you know, of the God tree as you are, just, you know, a different body, smaller brain. Mm -hmm. And now before we go into the guided meditation, I want to just point out some principles that I found will support the success of any guided meditation. You know. So first of all, you know, make sure you know you sit in a comfortable office chair and balance your body so that everything stacks up nicely. You know, it's very difficult to go into a deeper meditation when your back hurts. Um, personally, actually, I like um, to sway around um, so that when my energy comes up and my 
my, my body wants to adjust itself, you know, I can crank my neck or adjust other parts of my back. So it gives me, you know, uh, a better connection to energy. Also, I advise you to use earbuds or headphones, first of all, to cancel out any outside noise, but also, you know, the experience, you know, is going to be better, you know, unless you have a really nice surround sound system. You know, headphones, you know, will give you a much better experience. Also, you know, do not drive or operate heavy machinery, uh, you know, in case you're listening to the podcast, uh, and uh, smile like an idiot and reside in your heart. You know, this, uh, smiling will release, uh, will raise your vibration and help you to access higher dimensions, you know, whereas when you frown, uh, you know, you tune into the lower vibration, you know, automatically, and your thoughts become negative. So, um, and, you know, if you want to energize your brain, you know, and chakra systems, you know, so you want to, you know, that's uh, so to you are function on peak, you know, so you have to breathe, you know, at the pace so that you can hear the air flowing through your nostrils, right? So, you know, as with like, um, you know, through brain scans, people find out that in psychedelic experiences, you know, the whole brain or let's say huge parts of the brain light up. And so if you want to achieve this in the natural way, um, you know, you have to add a lot of oxygen and chi, you know, to these areas. So that's why the heavy breath, at least initially, you know, to open your energy system. Um, also, you know, you do not have to repeat my affirmations, you know, but you probably should heavily agree with them, you know, so think Amen or Yes or, you know, nod your head, so just, you know, be into it, you know, it's your life. I'm not your mom or your daddy or your guru, you know, do, do you, uh, I just help you, I give you an ideas here that you can align with. And uh, also be in a childlike state of innocence, you know, um, doing the guided meditation. So especially when you ask questions or receive results, you know, reside in your heart, uh, not in your head, and uh, pay attention to what pops into your mind. Uh, but do not judge or try to rationalize, you know, at that moment. That, oh, that's not possible, or that's too far out, or I'm making this up. Um, that will just put you again into the head, and, you know, you will not be, uh, you know, really connected with your intuition anymore. So you can always criticize, you know, what you got afterwards. And... Um, when you uh, you can use the K button on the keyboard, um, you know, to pause and play the guided meditation to spend more time, you know, to get an answer or you know to connect more, you know, with an issue. Um, this might really help, you know. But if you know, if I would make huge breaks between everything, you know, it would just be a very very long meditation. So K button, right? And uh, some of you, you know, may have greater benefit, you know, if you follow along, you know, with the induction, you know, with your eyes closed. But then when we, you know, um, get into the question or release, you use the pendulum. Uh, and of course the K button, um, you know, to work out issues. Um, you know, this is a quite a systematic approach and, you know, I'm German, so and I think it's very efficient, uh, you know, especially when you're not like super psychic, you know, if you're very psychic, uh, you know, you might see things or hear things, you know, right away or after some time, you know, even if you only hear 10 things, <laughs> uh, that's good, you know, uh, that's very good. So go to a psychic and get 10 new insights, huh? <laughs> that would be a good harvest. So. Mm. Let's just uh, then close your eyes, stack your spine, 
uh, smile like an idiot and you know do the amen thing so we connect now with the absolute supreme personality of Godhead you know source of everything so who is or uh, is everything so we rest in God and now we connect also to our highest self and to our spirit guides all the way up to source so angels and gods included right and we connect with Milky Way Galaxy this huge being here that we are part of in this incarnation and our inner child and Mother Earth and the elements that are all around us and those beings that still love us unconditionally and I thank you for coming and I ask that everything that happens in and from this session, this meditation is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. That there is no deceit and that we use our time in the most benevolent, in the most effective and fun way. Amen, amen. Again, smile like an idiot, you're in the presence of greatness and imagine that there are roots growing from your spine and your legs, you shape shift them in deep into the earth and split them off into smaller and smaller roots. Into capillary roots, that's how you connect with your earth mother. And now you allow her love to just flow through those roots, just like water rises through straw. Into your spine, into your heart, and into your body. And on the exhale, you send your love and energy through those roots into her. And then on the deep inhale, you draw her love support her upflow of the love into your cell till nothing gets in anymore and then you give her everything all the breath you have keep your mouth closed smile like an idiot breathe all the way out all the way squeeze your belly and then all the way in, draw her love in, smile like you need it and go back and forth while I keep talking and to ask our higher spirit guides to now remove from us any sabotage you know like cords, implants, alcons and magic um, you know like wings and cast and skull caps <laughs> You know, to trip us up, to hinder us, our evolution, to steal our energy. This is not allowed anymore, and we ask that as much as possible is being removed now. Amen, 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 amen. And we like to also have any contracts that were done with us in dream time that were designed to cheat us and take advantage of us in dream time also be cancelled. Amen. And now put your tongue at the palate and on the exhale you take that love that you took on, in the, on the inhale into your heart from the earth and send it up into your head and blow yourself a nice hubcap halo, you know, just all around the head. And you just use that earth love and just breathe into it you know, the halo that you're creating. Smile like an idiot and keep your mouth closed, otherwise it diverts the chi. Mm -hmm. 
now you probably start feeling lighter and now you know start pushing this earth love on the exhale like out the top of the head kind of like a wheel just with a bigger funnel like a reverse pyramid but roundish like a cone mm -hmm. and try to reach all the way up to the ceiling you know with your breath there that will open you know your celestial chakras and connect you with the higher vibration you know and again smile like an idiot <laughs> you're going into the realm of the higher dimensional beings mm -hmm. and now we ask for another cleansing and the lining of your crown chakras amen and also for a big outpouring of love into you so to give you just a good time and to show you this is who you are now Amen. and smile 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 and now allow that love that comes from the cosmos you know through the milky way you know from the center of the milky way to spill down you know over you and through you your head, your shoulders, into your heart, and through your arms, your hands, out the fingers, deep breathing, smile like an idiot, and also let it go down into your belly, your pelvis, your legs, deep into the earth, yeah, just flow all over. And wherever it hurts, just direct more there and let those waves of loving chi flow over and through you. And now we ask Source and representation, you know, as partial aspects of Source, like Archangel Michael, you know, or anybody else who is qualified, you know, like Lord Shiva, you know, and Ganesh, for those of the Hindu tradition. But, uh, you know, there are aspects of divinity all over the place. So just go accordingly. And so, again, we ask them to remove as much as possible, you know, those implants that are in you and make sure that there is no hacking going on for you, you know, no attack that you're completely safe. Now draw in that love from the heavens, from the Milky Way into your heart and expand your heart. Dissolve any blobs or blocks that you are clouds of darkness that you find in your heart with that love, with that light. Then any pain and darkness that you can detect. Smile like an idiot, deep breathing. The deeper you breathe, the stronger you breathe, the stronger the chi. And now we ask your spirit guides to surround you and to support you. And to show you what a yes would feel like and let us just define for you a little bit like a yes could be an upflow of energy from the heart you know towards your head and a no could be a downflow of energy you know from your heart so we asked your spirit guides to give you a yes now amen and give us another yes now amen And give us another yes, amen. All right, now you should, but now you should probably get it. And now give us a no, amen. And another no, amen. 
All right. So now we asked for complete security, you know, from the higher spirit guides. And now I call on all the soul fragments, you know, ghosts, from your living companions, from your family pets, from this and past lifetimes into our presence now. Amen, 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 amen. And smile, you know, there's probably a lot of them. You probably feel a little crowded. And take that love from heaven and earth into the heart and send it to them. Yes, send it to them. These are all your old living companions, and if you have to cry, just go ahead and cry. Just smile and keep breathing. But keep crying, it's good. <laughs> just enjoy. Just enjoy. Open your heart even more. Open your heart even more. Mm -hmm. And so you may probably know, you know, I mean, for instance, in, it was common folk knowledge in Germany that a cat, you know, can absorb, you know, your rheumatism. And, you know, when it lays like on your lap and purrs, you know, and ultimately kind of die prematurely. And, of course, also a sound dog, you know, balances the emotion of a troubled master and many times manifests those symptoms and help them, you know. And so we are, we just thank, you know, our pets, you know, for absorbing our negative energy for us, you know, and helping us and kind of taking the hit for us, right? But there is no more need for them to carry all this pain anymore. And so we asked, you know, the best and highest spirit guides, like the angels, you know, to clear, you know, all this negative energy that they stored from us. You know, now, amen, 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 amen. And you might just feel like some energy flowing up, you know, through the higher chakras. And just keep running love on your, you know, former life companions that probably incarnated again and again and again and again to be with you. And, you know, just ask, you know, your higher self whether, you know, uh, maybe you have a pet right now in your life, whether you have been incarnating with that pet before, or that pet has been incarnated with you before, yes or no? Amen. Okay, so, you know, according to these thousands of past life regressions, you know, I did, I found out that there was a lot of magic was done. It was very, very common. And um, so, I mean, for instance, you know, from graves, we know that uh, pets, you know, were part of the entourage of kings and pharaohs, you know, where horses were buried, or even wives were buried, you know, with their masters. Sorry, you know, this was, of course, a great traversity. You know, dogs, weapons, you know, food, you know, the sometimes servants, the whole entourage. You know, probably sometimes was killed and sent along with their master, and of course they had spells on them. So, you know, we really we apologize, you know, to anybody, any animals that we have bound to us with binding spells, or, you know, have magicians do that for us, or priests. You know, and we ask that they please be cleared from those throughout creation. If they want to be with us, you know, we want them to be there voluntarily not because they're being forced, you know, I, I don't want to be a slaver myself, so please, you know, I ask the highest powers to release, you know, my companion animals, you know, from any um, binding spells we ever put on them. Amen, amen, amen. And, uh, well, I'm sorry to say that, but uh, sometimes um, 
<coughs> the love between master and animal did not always stay platonic and uh, in case this uh, transferred some you know negative energies and did a trauma uh, we like to have this cleared also now amen 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 We apologize, of course. And, you know, any soul fragments and ghosts that can leave now into the higher dimensions, into their more angelic consciousness, you know, we ask that they please be picked up and brought home. They can always come back in their more angelic form. And, of course, can always incarnate if appropriate. Amen, amen, amen. I just run earth love into the heavens and you probably will feel an upflow of energy. Uh, you know, in your spinal area it's accelerating, smile like an idiot and some of you will actually see them going into the light. Uh -huh. Just stay with them and just send love into the heavens. Mm -hmm. And then sooner or later there will be kind of a tingling happening or the beautiful energy, a more celestial energy will come down or over you. And that is a sign that they made it into the higher dimensions, into the heavens, let's say, you know, their past heaven's gates. Uh, of course, you know, some, most of you may feel this or some of you may see that, you know, in your own way doesn't have to be pearly gates. <laughs> mm. um, uh, there are all kinds of uh, things that this can be, you know, visualized for humans. Mm -hmm. and now we ask for the presence, you know, of our hunting companions, right? Hunting companions uh, were there for humanity, right? Um, so there were dogs, um, there were um, sometimes ravens, there were definitely birds like hawks, falcons, uh, eagles. Um, there were, of course, horses. And uh, they all got hurt sooner or later, you know, horses broke their legs, you know, horses are not made to chase through woods and uh, accidents happen, right? Um, they break their leg, they, uh, they are, um, get hurt by an animal, gets, let's say, gored by a bison. Uh, you know, dogs got hurt, you know, swiped by bears, get their belly sliced by wild boars, so had broken wings, uh, you know, have, uh, eagles taken down wolves. So. Uh, we thank them for feeding us and helping us, you know, survive in this world, being there for us. Apologize for keeping them captive, you know, keeping them in cages, not being free. Apologize for that. And, you know, I want to clear any binding spells I ever did on these animals. Some of them were considered very valuable and you did not want to lose them. That's just like you, like a male would not want to lose, you know, a beautiful woman, you know, so they would many times would bind them. So I asked the highest to clear, you know, my hunting companions from any binding spells, from any trauma. And of course also all those animals that we hunted also. Mm -hmm. And maybe we even put spells on our animals, you know, to make them more uh, smarter, to enhance them, maybe even pair them with other beings, you know, forced other beings into them. This is possible. So we ask that to be cleared, apologize, and, you know, any pressed beings that were paired, you know, with our hunting animals. We like to have them also be cleared and brought home. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Amen. And then, of course, the binding spells, right? Amen, 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 
even and we like to have them released into the heavens you know where they can rejoin you know the higher intelligent aspects amen amen So now I invoke all the soul fragments and ghosts that are still there from the animals that we hunted and trapped. And I apologize, you know, for unnecessary cruelty to these animals. And, you know, for wasting, you know, maybe their life force and incarnation for fun shooting, you know, like sports hunting, right? You're not shooting because you're hungry or maybe because there's an imbalance and overpopulation of a species and there are no predators to take care of that. No, I like shooting for fun, like, you know, it happened, you know, with the railroads were laid through the western United States and people started shooting buffalo from the convenience of a train and just let them lay there. You know, it was shown in Dances with Wolf, the movie. Or the fox hunt, you know, where ultimately the fox was torn apart by dogs alive. You know, or so-called hunting farms. You probably remember you know, that Dick Cheney had this accident where he shot <laughs> another politician in the face. <laughs> So, you know, these are like uh, where you turn, places where you turn uh, the petting zoo into Auschwitz for the enjoyment of humanity. So whenever, you know, we had this kind of, uh, you know, uh, mentality, uh, so, you know, we apologize, of course. You know, we apologize, you know, for that apologize for the suffering of just wounding them, you know, and, uh, you know, letting them escape and die horrible death, or oh, letting the dogs have their way with them, not providing a quick death, mm -hmm. or having them, you know, suffer long times in traps and slings, yes. So we apologize, we ask the highest guides, the source, to remove any trauma from them. And that we put, you know, through the hunting now. Amen, 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 amen. And also, you know, we like to have the, any magic we put on them to be cleared so that they can kind of free again. You know, the magic was done to them, you know, from the earliest of time. And of course, there's a difference between asking for a giveaway, where the high selves, you know, of these animals decide what is in balance, and, you know, supply an animal for the needs of the humans, you know, or whether, you know, we kind of force, you know, against the free will, against the highest good. Thank you. And now I call for all the farm animals, you know, all the soul fragments and ghosts that are still cruising in the ethers, the astral arm from farm animals. Amen. I apologize to them for treating them as slaves in concentration camps and not as part of the family. You know, we're so sorry and we hope, we hope that this changes, you know, if you keep, if humanity keeps eating meat, you know, to provide at least a happy environment all those animals, you know, with music that they like, with environments that they like and feel comfortable and happy with, right? It's not a big thing to put a sound system in, you know, to keep them entertained. And I also, you know, want to have any magic cleared from them, you know, to magic on their fertility, 
or magic to vampire their energy or binding spells you know um, where you bind them to humanity or to yourself you know for the species you know if they want to serve they can do so voluntarily from the high cert level but no more forcing against free will amen 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 we also you know apologize for the abuse and impersonal handling that we gave them you know treat them worse as slaves you know donkeys beat them you know some animals have been treated as dear friends and some animals have been treated horribly so we apologize for any abuse we ever did and any impersonal handling and thank them for their support you know to your life you know carrying you through deserts etc etc and so any of the soul fragments and ghosts left from them or from the hunting animals, you know, we ask that they please be brought into the heavens now, into the higher vibration, healed and happy. Amen, 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 amen. And run earth love into the heavens, smile like an idiot. Into deep breathing. And this can be quite intense, but it's also very, very purifying. And of course, we ask that any karma with those animals be cleared, with all the animals that we have. How can we repay otherwise? Mm -hmm. And now I ask for the presence of all the game animals of humanity. You know, all the race horses that we had, all the camels or frogs or pigeons or fight dogs or fighting cocks, right? Where we used them as mercenaries for our fun. And just like, you know, yes, I like to call all them in, you know, especially those that were sacrificed in the arena sports of the Romans. You know, they had huge, you know, performances where animals were set against f trained fighters, animals were set against animals. And of course, animals were set against defenseless humans. Uh, and of course, they all died. They all died and these arena, bloody arena sports were actually an invention by the Alpha Darkonians and they have this from direct experience. I didn't read about this, this is, I can tell you. <laughs> blood sports in arena is an Alpha Darkonian invention, it is a blood sacrifice to them. So we asked the highest compassionate being angelic forces gods to clear these trapped ghosts and soul fragments you know from these animals you know from their trauma from their pain from their anger from their fear the abandonment you know from their loved ones their confusion also any magic that was put on them and magic was put on them on many much magic was put on gladiators and fighting animals, you know, to enhance them. I do not want to explain in detail. Also, we like to have any um, pairing with other entities, you know, some bondage be cleared, whether it's for funeral entourage, you know, um, or for enhancing, like, you know, um, make a dog more angry etc. And of course any binding spell that need clearing we like to have those clear too. Now all together please. Amen, 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 amen. And then when they're done escort them into the heavens 
where they can meet their high selves. Amen, amen, amen. love into the heavens, smile like an idiot, and feel that uplifting of energy, yeah. Mm. And while this is still going on, I'm calling all the soul fragments and ghosts of, of war animals that we were associated with, right? So we want to help, get help and clear all the war animals like elephants, horses, dogs like Rottweilers. You know, dogs were, they tried to use and train them to, you know, take shelter under tanks and blow up tanks, you know, of course, suicide command for pigeons and dolphins that were, they tried to trick them to put mines onto boats, right? So all those war animals, you know, so many, um, you know, horses took arrows, you know, got their bellies poked by spears, elephants got their legs chopped by huge swords, they got burned. Uh, you know, so there was a lot of suffering for us. Many times that it took a hit for you, especially the horses, right? So, and many times we also put mining spells onto them, you know, so we wanted to hold on to a good horse for many lifetimes or a good dog, right? And we also put war magic onto them. You know, to make them more aggressive, you know, to give them a protective force field, you know, and other things that are not for their highest good. And we also probably put some vampirism on them to suck their energy, to enhance ourselves. You know, of course, any rider will have an energy exchange with the horse. <laughs> You're sitting with your spine right on their spine, you know, and you can't tell me that they're not getting charged up by the horse, right? So, but of course, we also put um, war magic, you know, on the animals of our enemies, right? So we like to like to have that removed. So, we apologize, you know, to all those war animals, the killing of the war animals, the exposing them to danger, you know, as they're trusting us. You know, so we ask that their trauma please be cleared, that their fear be cleared, their wounds be cleared, the courts be cleared, and that they be escorted into the higher heaven and reunited with the higher intelligence, the higher divine aspects now. Amen, 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 amen. Ah, yeah. Oh, there's a lot, yeah. And smile like an idiot and run this earth love into the heavens. For those that are spooked, you know, especially horses, you know, we ask for special help for them, yes. Battle was horrible, you know, very chaotic. We ask, you know, special help for expert ascension teams. Amen, 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 amen. Maybe Lord Ganesh, please. Amen. Lord Ganesh works very fast. <laughs> Thank you so much. And now I ask for the presence of all soul fragments and ghosts from our familiars. 
Mm -hmm. So some of you may know what a familiar is, like, you know, um, um, any magic person, any decent yogi, um, you know, can enter the body of another person, you know, or, you know, an animal. And so um, magicians and, uh, of any gender had pet animals like cats, uh, some had dogs, uh, some had uh, birds, you know, especially smart birds like a crow or maybe an eagle uh, or especially a raven, you know, very highly intelligent. And, uh, you know, Astral basically, Astral traveled, you know, with them, you know, did a mind melt, uh, crown chakra up, and uh, saw through their eyes, you know, and had all kinds of uh, advantages through that. <coughs> so, uh, sometimes you know, because let's say cats can see into the fourth dimension and dogs into the fifth dimension, sometimes, you know, they are attack, you know, subtle entities that maybe a human cannot see or does not see at the time. And uh, sometimes they took a hit, you know, for their master. They absorbed a spell or a curse or got attacked by a subtle being and, you know, took the damage, but then the master knew what was going on and could prepare. So we thank, you know, our familiars, you know, for taking the hit for us, for protecting us. And also, you know, I like to release any binding spells, you know, I put on my familiars. If they want to be with me, you know, it should be voluntarily. You know, I don't want slavery. Anymore. And they clear any magic that has been done to them, you know, by others, maybe to sabotage us, and this has happened, or that did I did to them, maybe to enhance them, uh, you know, or influence in other ways, but against their own interest, you know. So, like pairing with other entities or I also remove any vampirism that I have going on with those familiars, you know. And so I ask that they're cleared, completely be cleared, rejuvenated, and returned to the higher dimensional consciousness that where they came from, where they will be happy. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, yes, and smile like an Eden and send love into the heavens, you know, which creates a portal for them. And while this is going on, I call on the presence of the soul fragments and ghosts of any experimental animals. So let me explain what I mean with this, you know. So we are talking about, you know, animals that are used in modern labs, you know, anything from mice, you know, hamsters, rats, rabbits, monkeys, you know, all the way up to primates. You know, of course, you know, there are also, the, you know, the beauty industry, you know, uses animals. You know, it's just a legal defense. Uh, but animals were also um, abused in genetic experiments. Uh, not only in our present time, but also in Atlantis and in Egypt and probably also in Babylon. I just haven't gotten there with the past life yet. And so, as far as I can understand, um, at least in Atlantis, the uh, scientists had, uh, they were also mystics, and they could edit DNA, for instance, just by 
with their mind. They didn't need microscopes or little tweezers and other mechanical devices or chemical scrub scrubbing. Um, you know, they just by their intent uh, they could uh, affect the DNA. And um, so there was in different cultures for different purposes um, a lot of experiments were being done. You know, some were for health and longevity, especially in Atlantis. You know, also creating species, you know, for humanity. Let's say like a designing a goat or a cow, right? Um, but also, um, you know, they wanted to make in other cultures the animals smart, so you could talk to them, and maybe they could talk back. Um, or it was just frivolous tinkering around, right? So chimeras were being made. You know, you have a lot about it in the Greek mythology, and also Edgar Cayce's, you know, channeled um, a lot about Egypt where this was going on. And I've seen it a lot in past life regressions with my clients. So the thing is that um, souls, you know, or mind complexes were captured uh, in vessels in, in Atlantis. Uh, it was done in certain crystals. And they were just like a prison and in Egypt it was done with certain vessels and so the bodies were designed and then the uh, soul, it's not really the soul, the mind you know, essence there was infused, forced into that body and that did not go well all the time so there was a lot of splitting going on and of course the soul did not necessarily, you know, agree with being in this animalistic consciousness. So a lot of damage was done there. And a lot of beings are still stuck in the astral, you know, and still stuck in those instruments. And so uh, I do not agree with this, and if you do not agree with this either, you know, a line here, I call unto all illegally captured soul fragments caught in crystals and other container with all high self consent and apologize. Mm -hmm. And now I ask them that they all be cleared and be brought into the heavens. And we apologize if we were ever involved in this kind of cruel treatment. Amen, amen, amen. And here they're leaving and ask whether <laughs> aspects of your own soul got captured and used for experiments too, yes or no. And one more time, did your soul also get captured and used for experiments, yes or no? So again, we asked for a clearing, you know, of all binding spells or illegal tech that has been done, and the liberation and the unification of all soul fragments and ghosts of these animals. Amen. 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 And why are these still going home? you know, smile like an idiot and breathe into the heavens. I ask for the presence of the soul fragments and ghosts of any sacrificial animals that we were involved with now. Amen. And let me just explain, keep smiling. You know, sacrifice was practiced in most ancient cultures. It's uh, quite horrifying. You know, and I think this was, you know, the thing of Christianity, you know, to stop those 
the culture of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So there are many aspects of this, and you know, we all most likely did the sacrifices, sacrificed animals, and maybe we were even in animal bodies and got sacrificed ourselves. And I'm quite sure many of you were sacrificed as humans. And just ask, did they get sacrificed as a human, yes or no? And I asked one more time, did I get sacrificed as a human, yes or no? Right. So, um, you asked whether you sacrificed animals in past lifetimes, yes or no? So, and um, so first of all, let us apologize, you know, to those benevolent gods and beings, let's call them higher dimensionals, that were offended, you know, by these blood sacrifices, you know. I mean, when we were bringing these sacrifices, you know, uh, to those gods, it's like as if your cat, you know, brings you dead birds. You know, nice singing birds, nightingales, etc., as an offering, you know, to you. And of course, hopefully, you are disgusted about this, you know. And also, you know, we like to apologize, you know, for all the waste, you know, of the life and the life force, you know, and the vampiring of the life force, you know, of those animals, you know, for our selfish reasons, you know. So, uh, many times, you know, we probably just absorbed their life force in a vampiric way, you know. And so we want to have any cords cleared that still, you know, connect us to those animals and, you know, no more vampirism from them. And, uh, of course, you all know about the scapegoat, the concept of it, you know. Yeah, you sacrifice an animal, you know, to pay for your sins. Let's say, you know, you cheat on your wife, and then you sacrifice a goat to make up for that. So you think that is <laughs> uh, that is kind of the way of, of you know doing things, you know. So in a way, is in other words, you know, this is karma dumping spells, you know, sacrificing somebody for you, whatever you did wrong, that is karma dumping. And of course, karma dumping is black magic, you know. And so we ask that wherever we did karma dumping, whether it's like on uh, on animals or even on humans, you know, that this peace be cleared, you know, th throughout all creation, you know, where we're doing this and where other people do karma dumping on us through magic, you know, also to that to be speak clear, you know, throughout creation, you know. There's so much karma that can, you know, not be worked off in any way, anyhow. So we need mercy, you know, we need grace. That's an old, you know, religious debate, you know. Can you do it by deeds <laughs> or by grace? Well, deeds are required to show, you know, your willingness and how you expand your consciousness, but you surely need grace too, you know, otherwise no chance. Okay. So we ask that all those ghost and soul fragments be brought home now. Amen, 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 amen. And now, we just smile and thank all the beings that helped with this, you know, especially Lord Ganesh, you know, with his special escort service to the heavens. But there are also so many spirit guides that helped us. And we ask that whoever is still stuck, animal beings that we heard, that we owe, that we did not mention, that they also please be liberated and cleared. And that any energies that are still there, any pain and suffering and any karma that's still floating around also please be cleared through grace and mercy throughout our creation. 
and that any soul fragments and ghosts you know be brought home that need to still be brought home and that any gates and portals should be closed also be closed and when they need to be closed please do so now in 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 and I will count to three and then you will be back in vacant day consciousness one you become aware of your room and two you slip back with your consciousness into your toes into your heels into your hands and fingers into your spine and three, you're back in vacant day consciousness, fully awake, your subtle body is fully aligned. Hello, my friends. I hope you feel a lot lighter, a lot less burdened. Ah. So, uh, this was a shotgun meditation, and it will probably not ascend all of the stuck soul fragments and ghost and trauma you know um, so much of the time you know these type of guided meditation you know should be repeated maybe after a week or after a month or if issues like this you know appear you know not necessarily as regular as you take pills or teeth you know but definitely you know sometimes it's good just ask your intuition to help you to know what to do when. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, there's a lot of information density here. And so it's also good to go over this several times, you know, especially when you still get very strong reactions. If you go through this and do not have strong reaction, you probably cleared a lot of this and then just focus on some other videos, you know, to clear other parts of your life. You know, I would say pray that you be guided to the next best step, you know, in your evolution and then work on that theme. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, many issues have to be looked at in greater detail before they can be released, you know. This is when a certain lesson or insight is needed, you know, before the trauma can be transmuted, you know. The insight is kind of like the homework that you do, you know. And uh, the good parents, you know, will help you with your homework, but, you know, will not do it all for you. So just, you know, ask for the highest, you know, most accessible guidance, you know, that you may get through books, YouTube information, just like this here, websites, people, nature, you know, dreams, you know, omens, and much, much more, you know. Of course, uh, you can also, amen, you know, just amen, 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 amen. Uh, also, you can treat yourself to a private Skype session and cut right to the chase. Uh, my prices are still very reasonable. Um, just send me an email, you know, and um, yeah, the information is in the credits here as well, you know, uh, below and show more. Uh, so if you responded well to this guided meditation, you know, please do the cyber live stuff, you know, to increase my rating, subscribe, ring the bell, give thumbs up tell your friends and leave comments right I mean this is people like you uh, watch these videos and uh, many of them read the comments and so it's good when you can share you know your experience with them you know it's good karma it will snowball you know uh, you know and actually you know there's always a telepathic connection I think through this so smile like an idiot and enjoy my other videos I love you Namaste.